isolation of beta amylase from sweet potato. Beta amylase is present primarily in plants such as barley and sweet potatoes. It is an exoenzyme that hydrolyzes the polysaccharide starch. The major storage form of energy in plants is carbohydrates, typically starch. These storage form of energy needs to be cleaved down for efficient utilization by the plant systems. Starch contains two types of glucose polymers, amylose and amylopectin. Amylose consists of long, unbranched chains of D-glucose residues connected by alpha-1,4 linkages. Amylopectin is highly branched. The glycosidic linkages joining successive glucose residues in amylopectin chains are alpha-1,4. The branch points occurring every 24 to 30 residues are alpha-1,6 linkages. Beta amylase cleaves the alpha-1,4 glucan linkages thereby releasing successive maltose units from the non-reducing ends of the starch. Materials required Sweet potato Knife or peeler Mortar and pestle Blender Blue-capped tubes 20 mm sodium phosphate buffer at pH 7 Vortexin Procedure Take a clean sweet potato and peel off the skin. Weigh the peeled sweet potato and note the weight. The sweet potato is cut into small pieces and transferred into a mortar and pestle. The crushed pieces are transferred into a blender. Add 40 ml of cold 20 ml sodium phosphate buffer saline. Blend it until it forms a paste. Gently transfer the potato slurry into a blue capped tube. Allow the enzyme to extract over a period of 1 hour at room temperature with frequent vigorous stirring using a vortex mixer. The extract is then filtered using a GFA glass fiber filter and the filtrate is collected in a new blue capped tube. Centrifuge the filtrate at 12,000 rpm for 20 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. After the centrifugation, take out the blue capped tube. Carefully transfer the supernatant into a new blue capped tube. The pellet is discarded and store it at 4 degrees Celsius in the refrigerator. 